Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me vlog. I'm sure you saw the title. This is a very exciting vlog and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this one and honestly guys, me too. But yes, today is my very first jumping lesson and of course I have the absolute pleasure of jumping on Mr. Fish. Fisher the fish man uh, it's actually been so long since I've ridden Fisher um, and since he's been on my channel as well so it's nice that he gets to make a comeback for this very special vlog So Fisher did have a lesson um, literally just before I got here and his previous rider had already like groomed him after the lesson. So I didn't need, there was no need for me to groom him again. So I just started tacking him up and then now I'm going to get his bridle on and then we'll head in and we'll start our lesson. Hey buddy. Hello Mr. Fishman. So I'm very excited to ride Fisher again. As I mentioned, it's been a little while since I rode Fisher. And the last time I rode Fisher, I was having lots of trouble getting his right canter lead. Uh, Fishy was a racehorse, so he prefers his left canter lead. He's not that great on the right and he needs lots of help and support and last time i rode him i was definitely struggling with that a little bit so i'm curious to see um, if i'm gonna have trouble with it again obviously i don't expect it to get it the first time i ask um, but i wonder if i'll have lots of trouble or i guess we'll find out Yes, Mr. Fish. Before getting on, of course, I'm going to do my tap steps and check his bridle. And I noticed that the throat latch was a little tight, so I'm glad that I checked it and fixed it. And then now I'm also going to check the girth and fix my stirrups before getting on. <laughs> also look how gorgeous fisher's mane is his mane is so thick and it's double-sided and i absolutely love it and uh fisher is quite bumpy but so like you know how it is with bumpy horses when you're doing that canter transition but because he has so much hair i literally just grab onto his mane for the transition and it makes it like way more comfortable Of course, we're not gonna go straight into jumping. Majority of the lesson will be flat work because flat work is the foundation to everything else. Um, so starting off with the trot, just warming up on the left rein before we are switching and crossing the diagonal and then going on the right rein for a little bit. So for our first exercise, we're doing trot pulls in a circle. There are four trot pulls set up in a circle at the one end of the arena, and we're going to work over those. Practice steering with our inside rein, side leg. Yeah. Whoop. 
so starting off, Fisher was definitely way too slow, uh, which is why he was tripping over the poles a lot. So I definitely need to get more of a forward trot going to help carry him up over the poles. And then back to... Yeah. So the first few rounds of a new exercise are usually practice. It takes a little bit to kind of get in the swing of things. And I think now we were starting to get the hang of it more. Okay, so basically doing the same exercise on the left right now, except when we're going over these green ones, we're gonna do two point. We don't do two point when we're doing pulls on a circle. We just keep posting over them. But this one, we're gonna do two point and then we post over the other ones. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so a bad habit of mine is when I'm steering, I forget about the other rein. So if we're steering left, I forget about the right rein. If we're steering right, I forget about the left rein, and that is not good. So this exercise is good to help remind me to keep both hands together so both of them are effectively steering and not just the one. So here you can see I'm starting to steer more with both reins and you can see how much more straighter he is and how much better he's turning over these poles. Now we're just taking a short walk break before we get ready to do a little bit of canter.
counter counter. Of course, I'm going to double check my girth before we canter. Don't want my saddle slipping about. And thank goodness we are starting on the left rein. Helps give me a little bit of confidence to get his right canter lead. Despite Fishy having quite a choppy trot, he actually has a very lovely canter. It is very smooth. It is just when he breaks the trot sometimes where I'm like, oh, Jesus. From what I remember last time riding Fishy, he does like to break to trot quite a bit. So I just need to make sure I'm having more leg on him. And you definitely bet when he breaks the trot from Canter, I have a full fistful of his mane. <laughs> I tried to strategically cut in front of Daisy there, but it didn't really work out. Oh well. Okay, so now it's time to change direction and do the right canter lead, the true testament to my riding. Do you think I'll need a crop to get him going on the right, or uh, should I try without? Probably, it will help. For Fisher, I usually don't ride with a crop. Some horses you need to, some you don't. Fisher, I find you don't need to, but to help him pick up the right canter lead, I'm going to use one. Ready? His nose was too far, too far to the right. Yay, we got it and it only took one full lap, so not bad. So to manage our spacing, I'm going to get the rainbow pole down there on the next time around. And I really want to make sure Fisher doesn't break the trot. Because if he breaks the trot, we're not getting that right lead again. <laughs> Are we good or do you want us to go again? Okay. Okay guys, and now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Yes, it's time to jump. I could cry. <laughs> I am literally so excited. I cannot wait.
easy. Ah! No! I swear, the day that we set up a jump and Fisher doesn't jump, I will cry. So first attempt at jumping there, Fisher did not jump it. He just trotted over it. He's got such long legs that he could easily just step over it, but we'll try again. He canters into it and still steps over it. Yeah. I'm upset. <laughs> it's okay, Sarah. It's okay. It's okay. The main thing is to focus on your position, grabbing me, your heel, your leg. Again, Fisher just stepped over it. And honestly, oh. I was so worried that on my very first jumping lesson, he wasn't even going to jump. But we'll try it again. Okay. Dead. <laughs> okay. Maybe next one. <laughs> This is the one, Fishy. <laughs> oh man, okay. We, we got it. I don't think, my position didn't feel great because like I, he was cantering and I tried to pull him back from the canter and then I don't know, but yeah, yeah. But he did it, he did it. Yay, good boy, fishy. So yes, he finally jumped. It didn't feel great for me. I got left behind just a little bit on that one. Okay, so he did trot that one and this is our very last chance to get a nice good jump. I was like, the very last one is gonna be the one. Good boy! What a good shot! He's you like, do I get free? Did it! Good boy! Oh. So there you have it, guys. That was my very first jumping lesson. And honestly, it was amazing. It felt so good. And I can't wait to continue to jump and to get better at it and, you know, eventually start cantering into jumps. That's going to be so scary, but also so fun. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here. Got to start working on that a little bit more and get better at trotting into jumps before we progress to that. But I had so much fun and Fisher was such a good boy. You're okay. See, we're okay. Hmm? <laughs> Ew. Do that. 
So of course, after our lesson, we're gonna cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes before we head back into the barn where I can untack Fisher. I'll groom him a little bit and he can have some grain before he goes back outside to hang out with his friends. Dream, you're still here. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you in my next vlog as we continue to jump. I wonder who I'll be jumping next. Comment down below who you think I'm going to be riding next. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Fishy. Okay, he doesn't want to say bye.